On this video, I'm going to be showing you and testing out the precision landing system of the DJI Air 2S. But to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to include the DJI Mini 2 for a bit of a comparison. Many moons ago, I did a video where I tested out a return to home accuracy test on the DJI Mini 2 and I pitted it against the Mavic Mini. Of course, there was virtually no difference because neither of them have this precision landing system, where of course the Air 2S does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the uh, landing mat down, get the drones in the air. I'm going to start with the Air 2S. I'll show you how to execute the precision landing and this one. And let's just see how well they do. This isn't about one being hugely superior to the other. This is just about me going out, having a bit of a curiosity and filming it for you guys to watch. So let's get started. I'm just putting that directly pointing north, put the drone up in the air and then show you just how to execute the precision return to home landing on the DJI Air 2S. Execute a precision Take off. landing. What we need to do is we need to go straight up in the air and then we need to hover over seven meters. So as you can see, I'm at 13. And then what the drone does is it maps the terrain in front of us and then it uses that to be able to return to home. Okay, so what I'm going to do is then I'm going to, that should be long enough. So continue our flight up to 50 meters. And then I'm going to come around this way and just head out. So what I'll do is I'll probably get to a good 500 meters. I'll do this as a proper test of return to home. So if you're not fully aware, this drone and all DJI drones have got three types of return to home, okay? They have a low battery return to home, which is pretty self-explanatory. So if you look at the icon in the top corner, you can see when it gets to orange, the drone will automatically want to try and return home. Okay, we also have a fail safe return to home. So if you had a disconnection or turned your controller off or something like that, what would happen is the drone would immediately stop. After seven seconds, it would reverse up 50 meters to see if you could gain connection again. This is on the Air 2. And then if it couldn't do that, then it would just start heading home. So we can activate return to home manually as well, which is a good idea if you're ever getting disorientated or as basically a last resort. All right. You should always keep your eyes on your drones at all times. So we can do the return to home one of two ways. We can either press the return to home on the controller or we can press it on the button on the screen. There we go. So now I really dislike the fact that that land is there. That just seems like that's a uh, an accident waiting to happen. Obviously, you've got the land or you've got the return to home. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the return to home manually. So I'm just going to press and hold where it says return to home. Go home. And then that drone should start heading back towards me at any moment. All right. Just to answer a question that many of you have had, unlike the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2, you cannot yaw the aircraft while the drone is in return to home mode. It doesn't work. All right. But you can still, of course, control the gimbal. So the drone is coming in then, a couple of hundred meters away. And this should be really interesting to see uh, just how well it does. I'm really excited. Really, really excited to test this. All right, so we're getting closer. Let's lower the gimbal. You can see the map there. And what I want to do is I want to stand out of the way. I don't want to uh, cause it to not land correctly. Landing. And hopefully it's going to, oh, there we go. It's just made the adjustment. That's coming in. Looks pretty good. The gimbal's gone up to protect itself and the drone's landing. I mean, that's pretty close to be fair. So there we are then. Look how good the DJI Air 2S and it's landed on a landing pad. And to be perfectly honest, you know, the, the landing pad with the uh, props unfolded, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not much bigger than the drone to be perfectly honest. 
Um, obviously I could have done with the bigger landing pad, but uh, this one works fine for this test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, Mini 2 up in the air and see how well that one does. Right, so we've got the DJI Mini 2 on the mat in the exact same place. Let me just check. Yeah, I'll move it across a tiny little bit. So there we go, we're in the exact same place. So let's go ahead and take off, all right? And then what I'll do is I'll do exactly what I did on the last one. So this does not have the precision landing system, but we'll still do this anyway, all right? And then what I will do is I will continue our outward and upward flight. It's a massive difference in the uh, rate of ascent. We're heading pretty much in the same direction, but it doesn't really matter. The point is the same. So as I've said, the Mini 2 has got the uh, same return to home modes just as the uh, Air 2S has. So like I said, just to repeat, while we're filling time, we have the uh, fail safe where we lose connection. We have the low battery. And then of course, you've got the manual return to home as well. And that's what we're going to execute on this one. Right, so we're 500 meters away. I've uh, got a CD, so let's get to 500 meters, the exact same as what we was last time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that return to home again. Go home. And let the drone come back. Now, as I've already mentioned, uh, unlike the Air 2S, with this one, you can yaw the aircraft like I'm doing now. And it doesn't affect the flight uh, direction. So we're pretty much back where we started. So we're just going to wait for the drone and see what happens. Quite excited for this one. Like I said, I'm not expecting it to get on as such, but uh, yeah, I think uh, might have to make a manual adjustment, but we'll see what happens. Let's see how close it gets. There we go. She's screaming across the sky. Let's rotate that gimbal down then. She's landing. And I wonder if I might have to make an adjustment here. Ready to pause that return to home. Yeah, you see, that's quite some, quite some way off. Yep, yeah, aircraft area under aircraft on suitable for landing. Control aircraft to land in a safe area. Let's go ahead and click that. And that is because, obviously, we have, if I just lower that so we can get some perspective, we have missed it by quite, quite a bit. Uh, but still, you know, at the end of the day, it's got it home. So let's land the aircraft. So what do you think to that guys? I think that was pretty conclusive between the two and that is how you execute the precision landing and precision return to home on the DJI Air 2S. I can say I never treated this little video as a competition. The Mini 2 does absolutely fantastic in its own right but for those that are interested in the precision landing you can see what difference it made today. Now obviously I have said this in a previous video I always always promote using manual landing only and that's just my personal choice. So if I ever am in a fail safe situation where I do lose connection on either drone, I always, as soon as I've regained connection, I land manually and I would always suggest that you do too. And just don't trust the technology. It's there as a backup. Make sure you land in personally and manually. And hopefully that will give you a great result every single time. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't checked out all of my other videos on the Mini 2 or the Air 2S, please go check those out. You will find something useful, I am sure. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and see you on the next video.